Shagai Renewable Energy Park initiative was set by His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Sabah in 2012 for Kuwait to meet 15% of its demand by 2030. Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research has launched the initiative in its first phase and it was successful to transfer the technology and build the manpower capacity and been able to transfer the knowledge to the local uh, stakeholders. The main benefits of the renewable, Shigaya Renewable Energy Park, it's to free up more uh, hydrocarbons to the international markets and have more revenues to the country budget and to save green gas house emissions and to open economic sectors and open uh, job opportunities and uh, business opportunities. The concentrated solar power plant built by TSK in Kuwait is the first plant with these characteristics built in the country, and it is located in the Shagaya Renewable Energy Complex in the western part of the country near the border with Saudi Arabia. Construction on the plant began in spring of 2016, with the conditioning of 247 hectares of land and the movement of more than 1 million cubic meters of sand. The installation of the approximately 10,000 solar collectors required the use of more than 20,000 tons of metal structures in the foundations and supports. And a warehouse was built for on-site assembly of the collectors. The construction of the power island, the area of the plant where the main installations are located, required significant effort in terms of logistics to transport materials and a large amount of equipment. Special transports and high-capacity cranes were used to install the large tanks, such as the HTF overflow, which took nine hours to install. Como podéis observar, estamos ante el izado del equipo, de uno de los equipos más complejos del proyecto, en este caso el tanque de overflow o eh, de rebose. Como podéis ver, este equipo es uno de los más voluminosos del proyecto, tiene una longitud de unos 46,5 metros y un peso estimado de 185 toneladas. Por tanto, las medidas técnicas y de seguridad a adoptar son muy complejas. The salt tanks, the main part of the heat storage system, were built in the Power Island. This is a storage system. It's one of the most important systems of the whole plant. It allows the CSP plant to produce during the night after storing energy during the day. And to do this, it uses two tanks that store more than 33,000 tons of molten salts. These salts store the heat produced during the day and allow the plant to continue producing energy at night by using the heat in the salts to generate the steam that moves the turbines at night. The storage capacity is 1,200 megawatt hours, the equivalent of approximately 10 hours of operation of a 50 megawatt turbine. The construction of the plant provided jobs for more than 1,400 people and a large number of local companies also took part, gaining experience in the work involved in installing and operating this type of power plant. The energy that is produced is fed in through an underground connection with the Shigaya Park substation, which sends it to Kuwait's national grid. All of the figures for this project are extraordinary. 270,000 mirrors installed that track the path of the sun to optimize heat exchange avoiding the emission of 81,000 tons of CO2 and producing energy equivalent to the consumption of 50,000 homes. The plant has installations for lodging workers, auxiliary services, fire extinguishing, and all of the installation's processes are monitored from the control center.
Sagaya CSP Prayer has set two important milestones, one for TSK as a company and another one for Kuwait as a country. For us, it's been a very important project because it's been the very first one in which we have accomplished and executed the whole scope on our own. We have accumulated around 130,000 uh, man hours of engineering and more than 4,300,000 man hours during the construction and commissioning phases. For Kuwait as a country, it's the very first concentrated solar power plant in Kuwait and we have um, signed more than 150 uh, local contracts, thus boosting the economy and the employment. This project with an investment of 360 million euros was completed in 30 months and helps Kuwait consolidate its efforts to promote renewable energies with a balanced mix, helping to stabilize the power grid 24 hours a day. TSK is operating and maintaining this plant for at least six years. We are giving employment to 73 people coming from 13 countries. And also, as we produce electricity during the night, we bring the Kuwaiti network to the next level. TSK is proud to have achieved this milestone and will operate the plant for six years. We are sure that this will be the start of a successful long-term collaboration in this country.